good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel my name is Doris and the word that I have for you today is a continuation of the prophetic word that I released in my previous video in the previous video I gave the revelation of the number 111 and in this video I'm going to give you revelation on the butterflies and their colors this word came to me as a result of an incident that happened some time back it was in February I actually journaled it so I will read for you what I wrote down in my journal so that you can understand where the butterflies and the colors is coming from and this is what I wrote it was on 13th of February this year hello Jesus something very interesting happened yesterday and today that caught my attention at around 11 a.m. I was in the kitchen I looked outside the window and I saw a lot of butterflies. They were mostly white and an occasional golden one will fly by. I don't know where they are coming from. There are so many. This has continued for almost two hours. I wonder what it means. Before we get to the word of God, let us pray. Father, I thank you. I bless you and I glorify your name, Jesus. I thank you for another opportunity, Lord, that you have given me to share your word with your people. Lord, I pray that this word is going to be an encouragement to somebody. It's going to be a revelation to somebody. And it's going to be a blessing to somebody. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Butterfly. Butterfly is a sign that from change comes new beginnings as we pray and partner with what God is doing in our lives. Butterfly is also a symbol of hope. It is a symbol of joy that God change brings new beginnings that carry beauty. Many of the remnants in this season are already awakening to their 11th hour move in their ministry and their lives. God is moving in your life. God is moving in your ministry. He is peeling back the revelations of what is next for you in this 11th hour call and it is beautiful it is new it is fresh and it is pure and the lord is telling you that it is one of its own kind you will not be able to compare it with anything this word is for the remnants of the lord in this season the scripture that the holy spirit gave me is in the book of isaiah actually he gave me three scriptures and i'm going to read them for you the first one is in isaiah chapter 42 and verses 9 and this is what it says behold the former things are come to pass a new thing do i declare before they spring forth i tell you them the second scripture is in isaiah chapter 43 and verses 18 to 19 and this is what it says remember not the former things neither consider the things of old behold i will do a new thing now it shall spring forth, shall you not know it? The last scripture is in Isaiah chapter 61 and verses 3. And this is what it says. To appoint unto them that mourn, in Zion to give unto them beautiful ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. I'll put the scriptures for you in the description box, then you can read them and meditate on them. The life cycle of a butterfly is a remarkable is illustration from nature of the transforming work of Jesus Christ in the life of a believer. The same God who takes a caterpillar, an ugly looking thing, and changes it into a beautiful butterfly, is the same God who has transformed your life from what looked ugly and undesirable into something very beautiful. And this is what the Lord is saying to you. God has done a radical change in your life. He has done a complete transformation. Just the way a caterpillar vanishes into a cocoon, seemingly dead, and after some time a new creature emerges, more lovely and compelling than it was before, that is exactly what the Lord has done in your life. The butterfly looks nothing like the caterpillar that it was. 
what God has done in your life in this season, it is so beautiful. It is so glorious. And the Lord is telling you, is telling you that it will not look like, like what you were before. The Lord is telling you that he has completely changed you. Caterpillars are born to creep. They crawl. But when they are reborn, they fly. After shedding their old life and emerging from their chrysalis, butterflies experience the world from a new and elevated vantage point. And this is what the Lord is telling you in this hour. You will no longer creep and crawl in your life. You will no longer creep and crawl in your ministry. You will now fly. God is telling you that he has elevated you. And now your vantage point is different. Now you will see things from God's perspective. Caterpillars feed on dead things. They feed on decaying matter. But butterflies, they drink sweet nectar from flowering plants. And this is what the Lord is telling you. You will no longer feed on dead and decaying matter. You will no longer feed on dead religion. The Lord is telling you that you will now feed from fresh revelation, fresh manner that His Spirit is giving you from God's Word. You have come out of the dark place. You have come out of the dark place that you have been and the Lord is telling you that you have entered into freedom. You have entered into wholeness of the kingdom life that He ordained for you. I had said that the butterflies were white and they were gold. And this is what the color white represents. The color white represents righteousness. The color white represents purity. It represents surrender. It represents holiness. The color white represents humility. It represents purity. It is indicative of the peace of the Lord and the glory of God. And this is what the Lord is telling you. He has clothed you with his righteousness. The Lord is telling you, because you have been walking in purity, you have been walking in holiness, you have been walking in, in humility, and you have been living a life of total surrender to his will. And that is the reason why he has clothed you in his righteousness. Gold is a representation of divinity. It is a representation of kingship. Gold represents prosperity. It represents beauty. Gold represents majesty. Gold represents honor. It is indicative on a, of an asset of value. This is what the word, this is what the Lord is telling you. He has covered you with his glory. The Lord is telling you that he has placed kingship, divinity mantle on you. The Lord is telling you that you shall prosper. You shall walk in majestic beauty. The Lord is telling you that you shall be honored because you are an asset of value to his kingdom. The word that I would like to leave you with is in 1 Peter chapter 2 and verses 9. And I will read it to you. This is what it says. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. This is your season. If you know that you are the remnant of the Lord, get hold of this word. Your father loves you with an everlasting love. There is nothing that can separate you from his love. Always remember that God bless you.